Our next skill guy is all about attack. Hello, my ravens, Zap IQ, and welcome to another video of Runescape 3 skill guide. This one is all about attack. This is this is actually our second video of skill guides. I right, so the first one we did construction. Now the second one is all about attack. And then our final one is gonna be the strength. Ain't at all. And when if I get the chance to do magic, I have a skill guide too. Anyway, anyway I'm gonna quiet myself down for a minute. And let you guys look at that, look at the skills. Okay, there you go. Now let's start with the tips and tricks about this skill of attack. Different kind of attacks. Before I jump into the weapon thing, I want to show you the, the abilities of these of this skill. But so let's go under melee. I think it's under attack abilities. Yeah, these two ones. So the different kind of ways of abilities, and those are one-handed, get it. Two-handed and dual wheeling, which is two times, yeah, two X. And we want to start with it's like low level. You want to start with one-handed for low levels, those, and then maybe when you get to the mid levels, you can do two, do times two, two or two-handed is up to you. Cause I'm pretty sure once you hit like tier 75 with three you know, guard weapons, actually, you, you use two, you can actually use two, uh, two hand weapons. I have this, like, us, like what I have right now is kind of mixed mash between attack and strength abilities. So let's say these two can use first a, lo a level one slice and backhand. The and then also slaughter and finally you know, overpower a lower two attack. Heck. Then at lower five you learn hermic, which is times with a two times. So it's like a this is like a dual willing ability. But I would say like, you want to keep this hidden until you reach mid like level 30. Because at level 30 you learn this one, like, until you hit the level 30s of attack, because Fury is actually a very good ability for time for do winning in the cell. Oh, and then you there's because there's no really good one to actually based on ultimate, except this one one. Because this is actually pretty good. It's called cool ultimate attack mascot. Scar, and then you do have, like I said before, you or you do have these weapons that you unlock certain ways. Is um like meteor strike is, is two handed, blood triangles is actually a question. All you gotta do to do first. This one is two. You have to do first for first to attain it. It this one requires a class two. Dive. This is actually a very good move, actually. It's a uh, dodge attack where you have to take a tire you want to dodge to. It goes up to 10 tiles, so that's actually the max. It's like a placement of um, this one. And it's a lot better than the, uh, blade dive, actually. Actually, because the blade, the blade is strike, actually, a, it's like the Ability, but you don't move 10 spaces, you move only like maybe like five. Okay, but yeah, so yeah, I say level one through 30s, you get hit, you can use two one handed, and then you hit 37, you can use ties two or just do winning, in, and then finally, you want to take on. Two-handed at 75 to 99, 
because you deal a lot of damage with medium strike, strike, and so much more on level two. Yeah. All right, there you go. Now let's get into the weapon of these of this thing. So attack has the kind of weapons, which is actually the I'll show you. So different kind of weapons they have. So like the sub you start with bronze weapons, spins and work your way all the way to out of wound bar, which is 290. So you tier one to tier 90. You got dagger, mace, sword, scimitar, uh, long sword, sword, and is that more? I'm not sure. Warhammer, and then the battle axe. Also the claw. Also the the claws too. Those are the one-handed weaponing thing. The first. Eight. The first eight weapons are actually one handed. It, this is your two handed weapon, the two handed sword. Sword. And then once you get to like in the Kaga, you can get a Warhammer. That's actually two handed. It, uh, this is a two handed Warhammer. The uh, Battle Axe, which is, a, which is actually a, a great axe. Axe. You get a the same thing actually, and the same thing. Okay, so nothing much in the so, uh, but yeah, you really want to keep up with the, what you want to go with and what you want to deal with from from your offhanded weapon too. So yeah, let's keep up with that and hold the best you can make it all the way through, through to survive in battles against monsters and also bosses too. Who in the so once you get the higher levels, you can take on the bosses. It's up to you. All right, anyway, hey, enough of me about this. Let's move on to the methods of this skill. See how you level up to level 99 as fast as you can. All right, I'll meet you at the first one. First method is level 1 through 40, you want to kill chickens. Or to say level one through thirty, you want to kill chickens. And it's why chickens? Because they have very high uh, ways to attack pretty quickly. They don't they don't give you that much XP, but they give you pretty good um, ways of ways to do it. And these so, uh, hold on. I have to change the action bar to attack. Yeah, to attack actually. Action bar. Uh, let's do the compact to attack. There you go. So as you know, oh, there you go. Oh, yes, yes. 16 XP could kill you fight these chickens. 17 if you get lucky. See? But yeah, what I'm using is actually a spear. And this spear is actually pretty good. What was the call? This supreme boxing spear, and the spear allows you to have like a different kind of a special attack. Attack it has this one is the spear wall. Look, it's like a dodge. It's like a shield ability that allows you to spin around the, the spear in a circle in different way uh, ways, like straight back, left and right. Well, not technically not back. Anyway, just keep killing these chickens for the time being, and you might hit level 30. You, you, they give you a thousand XP per hour. I don't think you make that, you won't make that much money because the only valuable stuff is actually the bones, the feathers, and the raw chicken. Okay, so maybe you may make like, uh, say, like 100,000 100, GP. Yeah, so keep hitting chickens until you hit level 30 attack. All right, we're going on to the next method.
Second method is actually a hill giant. So level 30 through, through 60. Yeah, level 30 through 60, you want to fight down the hill giants. These hill giants give you a pretty good amount. 247, yeah, 242 XP each, each, but it says 300 or something. 322. You, what you want to do is kill these hill giants up to you can to. You, they only drop the coins and the and the big um, bones mainly. Sometimes they drop herbs too. You, and then keep it up with that. Keep going to hit until you hit uh, level 60 attack. And you may get like 5,000 XP to 8,000 XP per hour. And I'll say maybe the same amount of GP for these bones, coins, and herbs too. Ew. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Gotta say, so let's move on to the next method. Yet level 60 through 80, is it 70? Well, I say 80. 60 through 80, you want to fight these talking zards creatures. He just want like this one has weakness to melee, and this one is weakness by magic. If so, kill these talking kit uh toxic XCs and then you. You, um, so the original. Oh, you can get tokens from them. Them. Uh, and also, you may want to do the, do the fight caves trial. It's up to you. If you want to take it on. You can take it on at level 70 attack, because that's actually a lot better. Because uh, at level, 60 is kind of in the same detail. Oh, wait, I say 70, you want to take on it. It's because then you actually train at the fight caves and hold the best you can get to, shoot, to the good waves ace, and take on the boss, which is actually Taka or Jed. After all, but, so keep fighting these tacos creatures and then fight the fight the fight caves at level 70 for the time being until you hit level 80 attack attack and then you get fight Jad yeah, after all Blah. and you get a pretty good amount of XP which is probably like fit uh 50,000 XP based on what I said I said before uh, not a lot of money in these so particularly it's mainly the the togos and these runes. So nothing nothing too much, I gotta say. It's really up to you to want to get the runes. But that's actually pretty much it in these so let's move on to the next method for the time being. I'm I'm you guys here. The next method is these living rocks. The living rocks are actually really good ways to fight. The next method this is level 80 through 90. See? And it's 366 XP e per kill. So you could kill the living, the spikings, and the protectors. It's really up to you. You and I think protectors are magic weakness, while the living one, yeah, but strikers are actually um, melee ones. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
And the thing about these living blocks is you can actually mine them and in these so. Oh, so it's really up to you how, how far you want to go with this. And I got to say, and that's pretty much it. The time being, and also you can make it make like 80,000 XP per hour for these living box, the strikers and protectors. And then also you, well, I don't know how much of these living box uh, they are, but it do draw the mud runes, runes in these so. Oh, let's hold on. Let me check how much of these guys are. Oh, I'm gonna get the mining process in. And then I'm um, gonna try to price check most of these living base are. 93 coins each. So not much, but uh but I believe it's actually the mud runes that cost a lot more. Yeah, the a thousand each. So yeah. The how it works and how it taints. So keep fighting these living blocks until you hit level 90 attack. Heck, let's move on to the next method. Next method is level 90 to 95, and those are the slay contracts. These contracts allow you to slay different kind of creatures a certain thing. And that is this one. This actually is a pretty good one at level 85 slayer. Here are the abyssal demons. The abyssal demons contract is actually really in the cell. Oh, and I want to say because before we jump into the boss. Um, vice you want to take on at level 99 attack. I think I want to know oh, something different for time being. So let's go to the best of demons for for after all. Oh, so fight these best of demons and until you hit level until you hit level 95 attack. Once you hit level 95 attack, you attain a pretty good flipping thing at that tier level. Oh, so yeah. And then you keep going on this. It, you, you will get 200 XP per hour or maybe, or maybe more. Oh, for the time being. Okay. Money wise, not much in diesel. Possibly where you can get, you can get a lot of money is the best of whip. If I gotta say, uh, it's up to you and it's pretty luck how you get that whip into yourself. Oh, uh, if you want to save AFK for this area, uh, you may want to do soul split or protect by attack. Yeah, protect by melee, and you will actually AFK this area of aggressive demons. And it allows you to stay a lot much longer in these so because yeah, then you use your food and also they drop shock too. So it's up to you if you want to take on that method using protect melee soul split or or use your food to be, for the time being like I said it, it do drop shock. Now just make sure you use your way of fighting these kind of creatures. There's your, what your prayer abilities in these, so yeah. Anyway, enough about that. Let's move on to the final method of it the bosses. Final methods are the bosses. So the bosses are kind of in the scene in these, so like I said before, from all the uh, other skill guys of combat, at Defense and Constitution. At level 60 co at, uh, combat, you get the wall indication area where you fight different kind of bosses you have slayed the first time ever. 
uh, and then also you can click on the first boss you are, you are going to turn on. On uh, this is the lay boss, boss, and this is your weeper quarter two, and then you get two balls at a time. This should be a, a whack shot, not the uh, Zen whack on this on this city. Now, maybe because I didn't have a chance to unlock him yet, but I locked by quest actually. Okay, anyway. A, uh, I think that's actually pretty much every time being, but once you hit the level 99 attack, uh, you achieve a torment of, of a skill cape in the cell. Also, you may hit a million or half a million XP per time you kill a boss. It's based on how long you want to fight these bosses. Is like, oh, I'm going to go to a tune like you can do the king black dragon for the salt and the dragon mole for the for the first two bosses then fight your way to the fellas brothers others and the goblin dungeons bosses so there's two it wants to get better better you can do um goblin dozen two and and also the cafe queen actually queen yeah then you want to do the goblin doesn't three i think it's a level in the 90s yeah and then like our like our glacier colossals ways this is a scaling boss actually, but you want to keep up with that until you hit uh, the elite dungeons. The four elite dungeons for the time being, but yeah, that's actually pretty much it, I gotta say, for, for them. And yeah. Move, anyway, let's move on to the rewards of these, uh, of these skill attack. All right, the first award, the of the skill is actually the skill cape. This skill cape is attained by the Warriors Guild. As you know, the Warriors Guild allows you to enter by 120 levels by attack and strength. So you need like 60 attack and 60 strength to enter the Warriors Guild. And this, indeed, so this is where you can attain the, the skill cape for. For attack, it boosts up your attack by one level. Oh, okay, that's actually pretty good in these cell. Oh, and also, oh, it proves the chance to not degrade ventures items right, um, wish list in the combat. So I think it's based on these kind of weapons. Weapons, the burn finish, which is actually the spear I have. And other weapons I do have, I uh, can actually change too. too. But I think the spear is the best one ever in these so because it's long range and it's pretty quick in these. These are two. But it's two hands in these. It, yeah. Moving on, let's move on to the emote of the skill. So it's not, that's actually a pretty good skill above for attack. I like it. It. And then we have our pet. A skill pet for attack, and that is Shifu, I think. Where is it? It's under. Here it is, yeah, Shifu. This is actually a skill pet for attack. It's like a Chinese dragon. And he's blind. <laughs> cool. The Chinese other dragon. That's what I call it. Because she very old in these. So, but yeah. And then finally, we have our extra skill cape for attack in these. So, 
I don't think I have a TV yet, but they go. So, and that's how it works. So yeah, yeah nothing else to come to, to it, but nothing to worry about it. Anyway, that's pretty much it for the skill of attack of a skill guide. Hope the best you have in time being based off how the skill works. The next one, one will be a strength for the time being. And that's actually pretty much it. So thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna leave you here for the time being. Leave a comment, like and subscribe. Join to the links to follow me on all my social media accounts. And I'll see you next time. Bye.